Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not you know, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you uh, feel like the videos just give you a good vibe, you know, please go ahead and share. You never know, it may impact somebody's life in just in the same way as it did you. And this one is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's Mercury, Mercury Retrograde isn't playing. Ain't pulling no stops. It's like uh, facing tests, life lessons of the past, history repeating itself, writing our wrongs. There's like so much stuff that's coming to the surface. You know, I'm, it, it's just like I knew something was going on because when I felt that huge shift, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, it, it, it's just like you hear an automatic earthquake and then you just trying to hold on and like, what's going on? Because it was just like my, my sensories are just skyrocket you know your ears are constantly ringing you know you can see different things that came up from your past and you're able to understand why certain things had to happen if you had certain situations where you were taking it personal personal of what other people did but that that starts showing you hey this had to happen this is a lesson learned these are different things that has been reoccurring from every you know from different parallels as well as different time you know, time errors or whatever that y'all been lingering on. These can't go on no more. It had to be, you know, nipped in the bud and gone about the business. Now they're telling you, be, be assertive with what you want. Go all the way in for it. Don't allow yourself to be, you know, put up in the midst of illusions. So what other people are trying to do to you. What you're afraid of. All these different things are coming up where it's really teaching. You know, you may be, you know, and it's just like your, your emotions. It's like night and day all over the place you know you can feel emotional gratitude just for everything that you faced everything you have conquered you know they tell you show you know show appreciation for that even though you may be in a down in the dumps right now and you may be cutting up like what you want me to be grateful because you know i'll I be having these migraines every damn day and y'all really working my last nerve no <laughs> it's just want you to be able to you know being able to appreciate those those migraines and stuff is like it's really clearing everything because it's just like it's like you're going through emotional detox like never before. You know, you, you've you been going through different things. It's like I had to take a pause for the cause because it was just like between doing a tarot card readings for like two straight days. And then I was doing like nine and ten videos a day. It, it was just so much that I was doing. I'm like, man, let me go ahead and take a break, you know. Um, and I had to be able to do that just to get my mind right, you know. But then it was just allowing me to be able to see the different things that I had to face, you know. Just testing you with your old weaknesses, you know. Um, being able to understand why these things has happened in my life, you know. Not being angry of the things that, you know, probably, you know, set you off on this path you know on this purpose anyway just being able to say if it was a situation where you went through some kind of abuse it may have been with your you know your significant others or your family or something that was stolen from you or whatever it's like this is what set you on this course it had to be that you know a lot of people you know that are blessed that um may not had to go through any struggle it was just their time to be able to understand hey your life has a deeper purpose you were chosen for these different situations you start seeing different things and it's now you know you have to be appreciative of the L's that you got you know I was watching my girl today and she was in it when I say it really brought a lot of perspective to me I was like dang thank you spirit you know it's just a lot of times we go through those losses but you have to understand those losses are, are going to create something that's more, you know, you want to learn these different things. And it's just like a lot of times when you connect with people and things don't pan out right or somebody flip the script on you or you flip the script on somebody else. It's showing you, it's like just being in, being in your spiritual stillness right now, being your emotional stillness. Really see what took place and learn that. And when you learn that, be able to keep moving, you know create you got to be able to appreciate what was created in that situation whether it was a good situation or it ended badly see what the lesson is about that so you can move on 
you know, not allowing yourself to keep on repeating that certain sequence over. And if you know you did the right thing, you know, a lot of times we're having to make hard choices, you know, in our lives. You know, if you, you see somebody's not, you know, appreciating you, step away, <laughs> you know, acting accordingly. You know, people want to take you, take advantage of you. You got to understand um, with empaths, you know, a lot of times people take our kind of sweetness. You know, and they, they peg us out anyway. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, they willing to do this and this for me so I can do this and this and that. You know, and it, it's just like you have to be able to understand what what's more. Is, is this adding towards the, the support of where you're trying to be? Is this adding towards your growth, you know, or is it stunting your growth? You got to understand which, you know, which is which, you know. This is at that time where we can't be making excuses about keeping people in our lives. It's just not happening. Because if it's like universe showing you so many different things that's taking place where it's saying it's either you or them. Or you, you want to keep dealing with them? Okay, but you're going to keep being in this situation. Now, we're trying to take them out your life. <laughs> you know, showed you how many sides we, we, we try to take the fucks out your life. And you keep doing this. We got something better for you. So it's trying to move you on. And you're seeing that. You know, and it was just it. You had to be able to go through those things. A lot of times, yeah, we go through mishaps. You know, uh, some kind of struggle, and it can happen back to back to back. And a lot of times, it's out of our control, or a lot of times we participated for the situation to be like that. And if it did, universe is like, okay, what did you learn from that situation? What did you? What is? What is it? The best way you can have went in this route, you know. And they're telling you, if you learn from those mistakes, then it'll, you'll be able to overturn, you know, something like this that goes off in the future. You'll be able to see it. And the more you start clearing, you start seeing a lot of things that's coming towards you or you may feel it, you know. And it may give you a, a vibration of feeling somewhat paranoid. Like, you know, what's going on? Why is this happening? You know, I feel these vibes coming up and these ain't mine. And this, this you know, because you already at a higher frequency any anyway as it is. That you're, you know, you're dealing with that. And for that to happen, you had to be able to go through certain things in your life that you, you know, you didn't think uh, would take place. Hold on, y'all, real quick. Sorry about that. That was a fly. <laughs> I'm about to knock the mess out of it, but it moved too quick. But, yeah, you're going through all these different things to where you can appreciate what had taken place, you know. And it, it's just like certain things that will happen, it will be pulled out, you know. Because it, it's just the fact is you, you're being watched you being um people are admiring you but there's also people that are hating you at the same daggone time but either way you're getting that vibration of where everything that you have gone through that made you suffer is going to take you to that next level everything that up, uplifted you is going to take you towards that next level and all these different things are showing you you know where the gratitude needs to take place at and a lot of times it's hard for us to give gratitude when you're going through so many different things and they understand that you know, it's just like I'm trying to be grateful to you, but you see the situation you got me in. You know, you know, stuffed me in this human suit and got me going through hell uh, repetitively, you know, repetitively every single damn day, you know. But then it's just like you have to get to that vibration. It's like if you didn't go through these things, you really wouldn't see where your determination was to make life better for you. If these are the people that have been in your life that dog the heck out of you, you ain't going to want to know how it is to work hard to make sure you get people that actually appreciate your presence. That, you know, is never going to take you for granted. They're going to be able to see the value in you, when, in your energy before they even actually meet you. You know, and these are the things that they're really showing you. Be grateful for. You know, people are going to start coming back in from your life that you know. It was just like, man, look, why the hell are you back here? <laughs> you know, you already know this didn't end right. You know, and it, you know, it didn't end right, but hey, it's going to begin so much smoothly without you being in my life. You know, and you ain't even got to get ugly with no nobody because it's at that point where you don't, it is, this don't even need your connection of your character being questioned. You know, this is at that time where you like, look, this is not good for my soul. This is not nurturing me. I still wish you well, but this is, mm -mm, this can't, you know, and it's just at that point where you have to do that because there's a lot of things that you may have tolerated before that right now you're like, no, mm -mm. you know, you're not worried about what people thinking, what people are saying about you. It is what it is. You know, if they got something bad to say about you, that's fine. You know, if you don't resonate with that, you don't represent that, you know, hey, it is what it is. You know, a lot of times people don't like what's good about you. So they always try to project what's bad. 
So you have to be able to understand these are all the different things that are taking place in your life that is truly beneficial. Because you're going to get to that point in your life where you're going to see everything unfold and you're going to understand why it went that way. You know, because there's a lot of times it's hard for us to do that. We may be stuck in that vibration where we still feel like a victim. But that's when it is just like when you start feeling that victim mentality. This is showing you you're not a victim of anything, even though these things has happened to you. And yes, they did, you know, but these are the things that's going to kickstart your life and become better. You know, you can either allow the things that happen to you eat you up and swallow you whole or you can use this as that fuel to become better. You know, being that person you needed when you were stuck and confused, lost in translation, not knowing what to, you know, what to do, where to go, who to turn to. And these are the things that showed you you had to become your superhero. You had to become your best friend. You had to be your first lover. You know, all these different things because these are telling you to nurture yourself. Don't be hard on yourself because these are the things that's coming in and it's hitting heavy. You know, it's really hitting you heavy because they're wanting us to trust the process. Everything is happening for a reason. You got blessings coming to you, you never imagined. You know, different things is coming up in the world where you can see your enemies. You can feel them. They're telling you, but also appreciate them too. You know, they're, um, they got a lot of people looking at you. A lot of people watching you, you know, because your, your name is being put out, name out frequently, you know. And these are the things that, um, you know, they're going to end up, you know, they're going to be people that either going to, you know, allow themselves to follow the leader and want to think bad about you even before they even get to know you or some people going to invest like that I want to see if they really talk about that person and seeing how bad they making this person be and then they're going to find like, oh now I see you threaten <laughs> he was like, oh okay you threaten because there will be a lot of people like dad you know I heard about you and this and this and this and that but now I see how you carry yourself how you articulate things how you you know your perspective on how you try to share with other people what you've been through how you being transparent you keeping it real and real itself being you you know you carry your humility like like no other oh, okay that was threatened you know then they're gonna see oh i can see why you didn't like that person you know because you're projecting truth some people are comfortable in lies you i gotta be correcting my truth you know, I say I, I don't like lying because the fact is, if I got to lie and then somebody come back two, three weeks asking me the same question, I want to be able to have the same answer. You know, because I feel like if it's going to be coming out a lie, I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> you know, just I'm, I just don't have time because I can see how lies can catch up with you like that. But it's just, these are the, just the situation where universe is just showing you how to keep it real with yourself. Be true to yourself. You know, not worrying about you know, the the question of others, you know what I'm saying, the, the perspective of how other people see see you, because it just depends on how you met that person, how you deal with that person, because, I mean, you can be a very sweet person, but if there's somebody always coming at you with that competitive energy, and you always tell them you're going to put them in their place, or you just allow yourself to just look and not even respond, because that was your response, oh, yeah, they're going to say all type of daggone things about you, but then uh, there's another person or a group of people that you give encouragement to every day. You, you know, they if they know that they, they need something to give them a peace of mind, they come to you and you give them the answer. Even if it's not something you can really relate to, you'll tell them, you know, I've never been through stuff like this, but what I would do, you know, blah, 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 you know, what, you know, this, that, and the third, you know, then they're going to see like, hey, you know, I always can go to that person. They don't ever judge me, you know. They, they give me that encouragement that I need. I wasn't able to give myself. You know, I love that person. You know, that you know that person speaks to my soul in, in, in more ways than one. You know, and then you'll have people appreciate you for that. Because this is all what we're doing. It's like a student-teacher thing. Because there's things that you're teaching other people that you have gone through. You have faced. You have overturned. You have overcome. You know, and there are certain people that have gone through certain things that you're still struggling with. And this is how we're coming into a unity within, you know, with exchanging soul vibrations. This is what it is. But it's just like hard when we're dealing with a lot of things that we still have hiccups on. And this is where universe is like, this is all or nothing. Because you, you can see it's like certain people that, you know, that choose not to heal. You still send that vibe of vibrations with them, you know, because we can't help people heal. You know, that's why I always tell people, you know, if you, you're wanting love from certain people, you got to force that or trying to prove, constantly proving something that's not reciprocated. That's when that moment is telling you, place that love into yourself. 
Because when you place that love into yourself, you're not going to allow other things that is not coming to you in a vibration of love, you know, uh, positivity, peace, or anything like that. That's going to disrupt your soul. And you're going to see that, you know, with a lot of things that you're facing right now. Because there'll be certain things that, like I said earlier, that you may have tolerated. Now it's just like, you know, you're dealing with different karmic uh, cycles and stuff like that. And you're going to understand why these things went on, why it happened, you know, what you're facing, what you can overcome, you know, not leaving nothing in the shadows, you know, not on your part. You know, when you're allowing yourself to face everything in that dark vibration, in that dark moment, you're going to appreciate what you had to face. You know, what you have learned from these situations is very painful. You know, you go through a lot of things and it's hard for you. Um, when it comes to certain things that are very triggering, it's hard for you to try, try to come out with a positive perspective on that. But if it wasn't for this, you wouldn't know, you know, where your strength lies at. You wouldn't know where your determination would be. You would never know what people are there for you in your life that is like wanting to see you win and actually applying that vibration to help you win. You know, I put what is a post I put up the other day. Yeah, when people want to help you win, oh, they'll they'll play a big part in your life to make sure you win. And some people, they'll make sure that never happens because they don't want to see you win. You know, but it's just gonna be that type of vibration, that type of balance in your life. It's gonna help you soar anyway. But then it's showing you in life what people are not there for you. You know, they always tell you, make sure it's like when you go through those moments of being recognized in that spotlight, see the ones that are fake congratulating you or the other ones that are actually crying tears of joy because they know you earned that. Then you'll start seeing why you had to face these different things just to be able to show you, you know, you may go down a checklist and try to figure out why, you know, why you're going through certain things, why, you know, I had to be with that person and, and I didn't give them a reason to. You can't. You have to understand. Some people are like that. You know. There are certain people that are not used to somebody being genuine. And when you're being genuine. And you're keeping it real. And you want to see the best out of that person. Because we don't normalize fakery. <laughs> you know. We have normalized that. And then when people have true intentions about us. That mess can feel weird. And I can say that real quick. I'm like. I'm not used to somebody being for me like that. I'm not used to somebody being supportive. I'm used to people sabotaging me, standing me in my back, and when they know my truth about myself, they're trying to really stab it, you know. So when somebody's coming into your life and being real, you know, these are the things that, that are just showing you. These are the benefits for you, your highs, your lows, your yes, your no's, your dark and your lights. These are all a part of your life that made your purpose stand out, you know. These are the real, the real things that really helped you move on into your life. That you can see that's very beneficial towards you. And these are the things that's coming up. Because, I mean, you, you feel it right now. You see a lot of different things that may come up. And it's like your emotions are all over the place. Like I said earlier, you can be in that vibration where you feel very depressed at one time. And don't know why you're depressed. I mean, you, you may be getting a long time. You're, you know, uh, you're getting into that vibration where you're constantly feeling peace. You know, and um, or different times where you're going to be highly agitated and want to be left alone. You know, or you in this situation where it felt like you doomed and gloomed all at the same time and you just mad in the world, you know, and these are the things because everything is coming up to the surface. It's like when I tell you it's like a spiritual cleansing, it's a spiritual cleansing. And that's where they're telling you stay heavy on your meditations. I've been doing that, especially with your uh, met Mercury retrograde. It's like really messing up with your, your electronics and stuff that, that keeps kicking on and off and stuff like that, you know. So these are the different things that's showing you uh, his, when history repeats itself to see if you're going to be gullible enough to repeat that certain sequence where you know it's not even good for you or you're going to allow yourself to you know, end that before it even starts to begin. You know, being honest with yourself, not holding your tongue for something that's just like, look, this is not, this is not nurturing me. I don't got time for toxic vibrations, you know. I, I'm, you know, I'm keeping it real. Cause once you, we, once we've been through it so much, you tend to know the vibrations. Cause sometimes people come at you with a different game, but the same vibration, and you have to be able to catch on to it. Cause if it's something that you got a question, and you question it every time that person's around, or every time you speak to that person, and text to that person, that's I'm trying to tell you your gut is not lying to you. Cut it off. Cut the cords. You know it's time to go. But then it's just like you don't appreciate yourself for being bold. You know, whatever your weakness was before, it's really going to be spiking in the strength of yours. So, you know, hey, 
know that there's a test around every corner. Something's going to be really, you know, uh, trying your weaknesses. So you got to be able to make sure you you feeling that before it happens. So there, you know, you just know. Just beware. There'll be people from your past that's coming back. You know, want to be friends, send you friend requests, want to, you know, stop by and, you know, holler at you for a minute. And, uh -uh. Just know, you know what you know, what you know, what you know. You know, allow yourself because it's like this is a new day, this is a new vibration, a new frequency. And I'm sorry, boo boo, but no, uh -uh. God took you out of my life for a reason. I'm not about to sit up here and repeat that same mistake again. You're going to allow yourself to know. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video, y'all. I know I got a whole bunch. Because I wasn't even about to do no videos. But I was guided. Spirit wanted me to go ahead and stop by and do some videos. So it was very random for me to do them right now. So um, I, have, I haven't responded back to your comments. Please forgive me. I just wanted to do these videos first and then go ahead and, you know, reply back to y'all. So, um, I would love to give a post notification shout out to these uh, key, uh, three key things. Carl Fouquet and Koi Lejeune. Lejeune. Um, you know, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. Uh, as well as my link to my podcast. You know, I started those back up. I'll put up, I think I put like about two or three of them out recently. I can't remember because I've been doing so much. But, uh... But, yeah, I left those out. And if you ever feel, you know, uh, generous enough to, you know, leave a donation, Cash App is there as well. You know, I hope whatever, you know, you're facing right now, hey, you can be able to heal, cut cords, be able to, you know, see that was a beneficial for your growth. You know, give gratitude, attitude of gratitude to the universe and, you know, whatever, whatever. You know, let's keep working on your manifestations. You know, things may not be looking like it's, you know, it may be looking like it's a whole hot mess right now, but you keep going keep going because these is bring opening doors to new opportunities for you and this is really beneficial so i hope and pray that you have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe for everything you do and you know whatever you're trying to manifest into your life i'll put beautiful you know vibrations you know to make sure you get more than what you expected and it comes sooner than you ever predicted and much love peace